Okay, well, anyway, we are back inside. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that the way you move fuel, because that does suggest that you can, the way it says disable crossfeed when you're outside, but I'm thinking that you can, but you can't, or at least you can't the way I'm thinking you can. But for now, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to start designing uh, my first, or at least the first part of, my orbiter. Yay! Uh, everyone does it. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. Anyone who plays is going to do it. Everyone does it. It's the new thing. It is the thing to do. You're going to do it. So now my first thing is to choose which one of these little buds I want. And I want this first part. Actually, I want all but the, the, the um, habitation module to be unmanned. So I'm not going to have like, any kind of command module or anything. I'm not going to have this hanging out there. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so I am going to use one of these guys. Let's see. Cubic, relatively lightweight. Well, there's that guy. I mean, he's, you know, he's kind of cool. I mean, it's just a, a CPU, right? And I can fit things to it. Okay, so for this CPU system here, um, I didn't look at how much power he has. 1.7 a minute. When, so they're all the same, same, same. 8. Well, this one's really, really light. Oh, no, this one's even lighter. Okay. Drag. Max temp. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they're all roughly the same. Yeah, stay put in a, such a cute name. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we're just gonna go with the square box then, I think. And I, th I thought of something. While I was... I was actually watching 1F Jeff, um, the owner and operator of Winning is for Losers on YouTube. I was watching him do his space station and he is much more calm about docking than I think I am. But I also noticed that he would take parts and pieces up in space, realize they didn't fit together, and then start smashing his face against the keyboard. And I had that moment, you, you've seen my video, where and that was like a five minute video taken from a three hour, two or three hour recording. So when I realized I couldn't dock, I just wanted to stab out my own eyes. I was. That was it. And because I realized that, um, what I was thinking is that I could actually build the entirety of the station right here. As like a test, as like a, a test body to show what the station's going to look like. And then bring the pieces up on other rockets. So in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to start with the base module. And that would be... I think I'm going to start with a hub. So we're actually going to start with a simple, simple hub. And that would be this hub here. Yay! But how to attach it? Because I can do it like this, but that that removes one of my things. So let's let's see what kind of craziness we can pull off, shall we? I don't think these will attach. I kind of want to attach like right here on the corners, but I don't think that'll work. At least not without a little bit of finagling. So we are going to have to lose one of our sides to this hub, to this little guy. And we need to figure out what that what that will look like. And I, I don't want to do anything insane, you know, I don't want to do anything super crazy or super insane. I just want to build, you know, just a little, just a little boat. And we'll put, no, we'll keep this out for scale so we know what it looks like, we know how big it is. And, um, I need power, so I need solar panels, right? I'm going to give this thing its own solar panels. Um, and I know it's under utility, right? Yeah, here they are. Little tiny solar panels, look at that. Perfect. Okay, let's give him four, you think? That way, no matter where he's facing in the light, he will have power. Woo, power! And along with that, we don't want anything to dock directly with him. You know, because he is our brain. But maybe a battery, you think? Oh, you know, on top. You know, just for symmetry, just put a battery up here. Just be like, bloop. Here you go, I have a battery. Bloop. Nah. That's not symmetrical. Okay, so there's our, our brain. That's the brains of the operation. Now we need to mount it. We need to figure out a way to mount it proper. And I think we can use these for that. Hey, look, oh, 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 wait, 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 I think I got it. I think I got it. You put that on there, you put that on there, you put that on there, and bam! Ah, oh, there it is. So we lose one of our docking clamps, yes. 
Yes, we lose one of our docking clamps, but our brain! Our brain is intact. Look at that. It actually looks kind of nice. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> it's a silly idea. I wish we had I, I wish we had multicolored lights. We, we don't, of course. But if I do maybe put like a single light. Oh, will it not fit? Does it not like me? To, it's like no. Oh, it only fit like on the sides. Let me see. Will this light work? Nope. Okay. Well, what I was gonna do is I was gonna put a light on top and have it like you know the top of a tower with a little red blinky light but apparently that's not going to work. I should have lights on here though like somehow positioned on here to where they'll I don't know light up the docking clamps or something maybe and this is like this like that maybe so like when you're coming in it'll be like hey here's your lights so yeah that's kind of nice that's kind of helpful um, I think those are at, a, uh, at an okay angle. I won't say they're a perfect angle. Now I do want Kerman to... nope, wrong ones. I do want Kerman to go in and out of these. That is important. So I'm gonna think I may have lost this. I'm not sure. Okay, you can't do X on that. You gotta do them each individually. Not... wrong one again. See, this one looks smaller in the picture than this one because that's how they do scale on those. And so I'm always grabbing the bigger looking one that turns out to be the smaller one. Okay, that. All right, there we go. This one's upside down, I think. I don't like that it's upside down. I know that sounds silly, but um, I like symmetry. I really do like symmetry, so right side. Uh, grab the small one again. Uh, because of that, because I like that symmetry on there, it's. Um, I think I'm having a problem with this. Like, it, I did that thing where when you disconnect something, it doesn't like to connect things properly. So we're going to save this first. We're going to call this um, the short stack. Yeah, that's what we're going to call that. And we're not going to call it the test short stack because this is actually going to be a module that we use. So we're going to call that the short stack. We're going to save that and then we're going to reload it. Not a lot of ships in this one, unfortunately, as you can see. There you go. Okay, now, now because I reloaded it uh, really quick. So it's under utilities. They are utilities. And grab that one, and it should. Oh no, it's still, it's still kind of being a douche. What the hell, is it good sir? Why are you being a douche? Okay, there we go. Now I just got, now I just got it rotated. I'll get this. I will get this. Is that right? Hey, there we go. Okay, now the next one. Ah. Grab the short one again. Oop. And that one's kind of sideways, so we say uh, rotate. Oop, wrong way. Rotate two more times. Oh, for the love of Pete. Oop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where <laughs> There it is. Wrong side, good sir. Wrong side. Will it come off? Can I. Is, oh, I did that thing where... Yeah, these take a little bit of getting used to, I think, putting them on, taking them off, so on. Okay, so now now we're all symmetrical. So that's a nice little hub, I think, with this one. Now, depending on the way this looks in orbit, it is going to look like this. But that's that's not a bad hub, I think. We have solar powers to keep our, our brain intact. We'll probably put this on top, maybe. I don't know. See, it's not symmetrical either, and it kind of sticks out a little bit. I wonder if I could put just a regular photo. I mean, I could put this ugly thing on top of here. It does extend. And we would want that. But we do... No, we have solar panels on all four sides. If I really wanted to, I could just put another solar panel on top. But I don't think I really want to do that, do I? Like that, maybe? Okay, yeah, that, that, that fits. That, okay, yeah, that fits. It fits, and it looks nice. And that way... Um, it's, it doesn't have 360 degree clearance with light, but it's got enough clearance with light that you'll be able to see where you're going. And we have docking port lights, which are nice, so for anything that wants to dock. And, oh, I should put one on the bottom. <laughs> hey, we get to fight it again! Since this one can't technically be symmetrical, symmetrical, semi-trickle, we'll just leave that as whatever it is and I won't look at it so it doesn't drive me crazy. Alright. So there's a boat, or there's the start of our boat, and this is what's going to be hanging out in orbit. So, uh, I'm going to build a rocket to place on this, 
And then from that, I think uh, we will get this into space and then we'll start docking things to it. Awesome, isn't it? I, I thought so too. And who knows, I may, I may decide to design a rocket that will take this up and then have the ability to come back or at least to de to undock and exit the area safely. I don't know if I'm going to have that automated or if I'm going to going to enlist one of our pilots to do. We will have to see, but for now, I will start building that and if I come up with anything super crazy, I will absolutely show you guys and then I'll see you out on the runway. Okay, everyone, here we are out on the launch pad. It's about to call it a runway again, but no, it's a launch pad. Um, this is the initial design for the short stack. Um, what you see here is the, this is basically it for the rocket because I've been making heavy rockets and I've noticed that lighter rockets seem to work. There isn't a middle stage, I was debating putting one in, but for now I'll just keep the low stage first. I do have a secondary brain case right here. Um, oop, running on power apparently. Um, is this one running on power? Oh, well, they're both running out of power. What the heck? Maybe it's because it's at night. Let me see. Let's fast forward really quick and see if it's just because we're at night. Um, there we go. Now it's daytime again. Anyway, um, that way when I control the... Or when I decouple, because I'm going to decouple from here, I can still control this and like move it away and then cancel the flight. Um, hopefully these are working, are they? Electrical charge zero. What about my... Oh, my solar panel. Why does my solar panel have zero solar exposure? Is it, am I still in shadows that way? Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. Get some sunlight up on here, please. Oh, the sun's still going down. Okay, well, it never came back up, so... Up on the other side. Because now I'm completely out of power, and that's really annoying, because... How am I supposed to fly if I'm out of power? Okay, so direct sunlight, cool. How's my... Okay, now my ship's got 5 of 5 again. So that might be an issue for a little bit. Do you have power? Okay, so I do have to launch during the day. Good point, good to know. Okay, so we are going to try launching right now, since the day just came up. And I'm going to try to shoot for a 200,000 or 200 kilometer orbit. Rather than a 100 kilometer orbit, I like the higher altitude for this because it is going to be a refueling station. I would like to get it higher up. So we'll see how this goes and launch. I seem to have lost an engine. I did lose an engine. My center engine just broke off. Well, that's no good. Okay, well, let's go fix that. And I think I'll add some clamps to this so that that doesn't happen again. And I'll see you back out here with it all clamped up and everything. 